and hello YouTube, this is GS Man Smart, and I'm going to say with a brand new video for tutorials with GS. Now today's tutorial, we're going to be focusing on Audacity, and it's going to be quite of a, it's a pretty short tutorial because it's pretty simple, pretty basic, but however, I have been having many people, some of them have been my friends, some of them have been people on YouTube, some of them have been commenters who've been asking me how to save a file on Audacity and actually have it saved so that you can play it in a media player, so you can send it to people, so you can upload it somewhere and it's pretty easy to do however it can be confusing if you don't select the correct option if you don't have the correct codex so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, record something random real, real, real quick testing tutorial recording testing tutorial recording so we have our file here testing tutorial recording testing tutorial recording alright sounds great and now generally speaking if you want to save your project you can click save project as here and click OK here and tutorial now what this will do is we're going to close this we're going to open this back up this will allow you to edit the audio again when you go to file and you go to save project or save project as you are saving this file as an audacity file it's an audacity file that only audacity can open and only audacity can play so you don't want to click save project and you don't want to click save project as it's almost similar if using photoshop or if you're using gimp if you click save save as it's going to save it as a psd or an xcf file it's going to save it as the program's format so you don't want to click save project as or save project uh, save project or save project as unless you're unfinished unless you don't want to finalize it yet if you want to finalize it if you want to basically save it in an mp3 file or save it as a wav file then you have to go down to export when you click export then you can save your destination here and we can go ahead and pick any of these files now if you just got audacity and you're new to it and you want to save an mp3 file which a lot of people are going to want to save an mp3 some of you may want to save in wav or these other formats but most of you are going to want to save an mp3 unfortunately audacity does not allow you to save an mp3 until you download one of the mp3 codecs and one of the mp3 codecs is the lame codec so until you download this codec here you'll only be able to um, save in these other formats such as WAV but if you want to save as mp3 then you need this codec so I'm gonna go ahead and guide you through the process basically what you have to do is go to this website right here I will link this in the description and it basically gives you step-by-step -step instructions for Windows and step-by-step -step instructions for the Mac if you have a Mac now generally speaking all you have to do is go to this website right here and then click this button here and then um, just click here jump to the straight to the Windows downloads or you can click here jump straight to Mac downloads since I'm a Windows user jump straight here and then you have to go and if we go back to the instructions and I just give me one moment you wanna have two tabs open here one tab for the instructions and another tab for the download here what you want to do is make sure you read this says left click the link for windows.exe do not right click the link and and save it as just left click it so here it is you're gonna left click it and it automatically downloads then we have to double click it and launch it if it asks you for anything would you like to allow it you obviously click yes and then you and you basically set it up if I were to open it you basically follow this but I already have this file so I don't need to do it you basically follow this file and it will automatically it will automatically save save the LAME file into your C program files lame for audacity it's gonna save it into that directory which if you don't know where that is you go over here your C drive and it's program files so program files and it will be I think for me it's already for me it's already been moved but it's gonna be here the reason why it's not here for me it's because um, it basically moves it to the correct uh, directory unless it's in here Oh, here it is. So it's actually in your program files 
86. If you don't find it in your program files, it'll be in your program files 86. And here it is. Now the next step here is when you have that installed, then you can go and go back to Audacity, then go to File, then go to Export, and then MP3. Now when you click Save, this chart's not going to pop up. What's going to pop up for you, it's going to pop up saying, um, please locate the LAME file. So what you then have to do is basically navigate to this folder, which I just show you how to do. You navigate to this folder. You don't navigate from here, you navigate in the window that Audacity pops up for you. So, But it looks similar to this. And then what you want to uh, double click is the .dll file, which is right here. This is the file that you want to select when Audacity asks you to locate this file. So you would just double click it, and then from there on, you don't need to do this ever again. From there on, Audacity will always recognize where the file is, and then you'll get this chart here. If you want to fill in this stuff, you can, but generally speaking, you just click OK. And if, you're, if your file is very large or very long, um, you'll see a little processing, a little green processing bar, but since mine is very short, it's there's n no processing was needed. And then you'll see that here you have it as an mp3 file. Testing tutorial recording, testing tutorial recording. And that's how you export any file in Audacity. You do not use the file save or file save project as, because that will only save as an Audacity file, which will allow you to edit the audio. When you export it, then you'll be able to export as an mp3, wav, and such like that. That's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you've learned how to export music, and hopefully it's made it a little easier for you so you don't get so confused. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well, and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours, depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos, so if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too. Really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone. This is GS Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.